Hello everyone, I'm Ernie and I'm so glad you're here with us today. Today we're working on a project on some tailings that I got from another project. Uh, the other day I had gotten uh, some ore from an old timer named CJ and I took 40 pounds of that ore and I had worked it and out of the tailings it looked like that there was some good material so in the tailings I took out about 115 116 grams of material and we're going to smelt it and see if there's any type of precious metals that I might have missed and that was left in the tailings and let's get to it. And we do have 116 grams of material to work with and let's get our flux made up. Here is our concentrate mixed with our charge and our 116 grams of concentrate is mixed in with 115 grams of borax, 55 grams of silica sand, 50 grams of high litharge with flour, 50 grams of potassium nitrate, and 20 grams of Chapman's thinner. And if we need it, I will put in about 20 grams of soda ash, but I will do that after our material has melted in our furnace. And let's get to it. Our material is up to temperature and now we can pour. The outside temperature is about 40 degrees and we are heating up our cone mold so we won't get any type of a thermal shock. Here is our lead prill. Our lead prill weighs three grams. I do want to make a mention that I do have my shop back blowing some air and oxygen into the furnace to oxidize the prill so that it will reduce in size much quicker than not having the extra air and oxygen. And we did get a gold bead in this process. This wraps up this episode of getting this bead out of my tailings pile. <laughs> there wasn't supposed to be anything, but there was. And what it goes to show me is that it's virtually impossible to get all the sulfides out of the material while you're hand panning or running it through the sluice box. And maybe there's some type of a procedure that I need to learn to be able to get 100% of the sulfides out, but um, I kind of I doubt that. But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this episode. 
and I'm looking forward to the next one that I'm going to do after this one and it's because I have 56 grams of sulfides that I'm going to run through my aquaregia process and and so it's going to be interesting and I hope you join me on that one and I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did smash that like button and share this on your channel so others can enjoy the experience and if you haven't subscribed to our channel I would love to encourage you to subscribe and to become part of our AU family we'd love to have you in our family we're so thankful that you're here and we appreciate your support and we will see you on the next one